Right, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to take a wheel off today. So, it's about jacking the car up. So, before we do anything, we need to make sure we're going to take the passenger side on the near side from the wheel off. So, the opposite wheel to the corner we're jacking up, we have to chop. I haven't got no wooden shocks with me, but I've got some bricks. I'm supposed to use wooden wedges, but that's what we're doing. When you go back then, first thing we need to do is loosen the wheels up. Take the wheel off, we need to make sure we've got the right tool. So I've got, uh, I haven't got a brake ball with me, so I'm using the torque wrench in first. 17mm socket. Before we jack the car up, we need to make sure everything, the hand brakes on and the wheels are chopped. Also, when we're doing it, we're only just loosening them off, so just a little bit, just so the things are tight. Right, that's the wheel nuts loosened. Right, what we've got to do next is we're going to get the trolley jack. Make sure it's got no oil leaks, the wheels move, and then we're going to actually put it under the jacking point, which is just there. Make sure the jack's on lock, take those up, and then we're going to jack it up. So we need to go a little bit higher with this car. Get the extra sand under. Now one more pump. Put the extra sand under the subframe or somewhere where it's strong. And then we release it very slowly and controlled. Okay, very slowly. lower the car down so it touches the axle stand and now that's all the way off so that's the jacking of the vehicle done what we're going to do next I'm going to take the wheel off because I've already loosened it I can just undo them by hand if you've got a tray put them in your little bit of tray so you don't lose them Once all the nuts are off, we can then actually remove the wheel, slide it to the side. When it's off, we're going to check the tire depth, which should be 1.6mm minimum by law. Anything lower than 1.6mm, it's illegal to drive. I haven't got a tire tread depth gauge, but these are about 4 or 5mm deep because the little lines in between are 2mm. We're going to check it for any splits, any bulges, or anything else, which is none on this car. And then once we've done that, what we do, put the wheel back on, we lift it up, line it up the holes. Then we get the wheel nuts, very carefully put them in, and then the other one. And what we're going to do, we're just going to nip them up really quick. We'll nip the last one up and we'll do we'll just give it a quick just to make sure it's tight by hand we do it diagonally so if we're doing this one we go there then we go up to this one here and then we go on to this one here we do that because if the wheel's tight in the middle and it don't sit right when you drive along it'll come loose right so that Make sure it's on the right jacket point and also 
before you jack any vehicle as well, make sure it's got no rust or corrosion in there. Then what we're going to do, is the axle stand and then we're going to actually lower the vehicle really slowly and controlled until it's all the way down. This car is 110 Newton meters. So I'll set the torque wrench to 110. And you might not be able to see, but there's Newton meters and then there's pounds. So we're doing it on Newton meters, 110. And what we do, start at the top nut. And we go until you hear a click. We don't do no more than one click. Then we go to the opposite wheel until I hover click, hover click, hover click. That is the start to finish of changing the wheel on a car. Right, also just a quick one. When you're doing a tire, you're going to check the size. So that's 155 is the width of the tire so if you looked at it when it was on the side where the tread is it's the width of the tread the 65 is 65 percent of the width which is the sidewall so if there's a 65 it's 65 percent of 155 mil and then the r14 that is the wheel size so this tire is a 155 65 r14 and it's a speed rating of 75 t